It's time for the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. Powerful and liberating business strategies. You can start in 5 minutes or less. Now, here's your host, Dean Soto. Hey, this is Dean Soto, founder of freedominfiveminutes.com and prosulum.com, P-R-O-S-U-L-U-M.com. And we're here again with another Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast episode. Today's topic is this. Build your special forces team And they'll be there when you need them. That and more coming up. Well, 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 good morning, good afternoon. Whenever you are hearing this, maybe it's even good night. I'm here with the Luna Meister. She is sniffing around. She's doing what she does best. Exploring, checking things out. Because that's what she does best. She's good. uh, She she likes... uh, for those who don't know who the Luna Meister is, Luna is a dog. It's not a human. Um, and uh, she just, uh, we got our thing going on, right? Right, baby? Let's go down here. You can, you can sniff some more stuff down here. <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> so, not too long ago, it was, uh, what, a month ago, two months ago, <clears throat> I was building this big uh, cat house thing. <clears throat> And uh, basically, it's a four foot by eight foot by, I think uh, the top of it's a little bit over six foot house for these cats. We got, we ended up getting about four cats and it's a place where they can get their food, they can get their water, the, the, the openings are small enough to where really only the cats can get in there, um, and that there's not, uh, there, the other predators can't. Uh, can't fit in there uh, and start, you know, they're not, they're not able to just uh, do, go in there and start tearing them apart or anything like that. So it's a nice little safe haven for these little babies. Or are they actually little babies? <laughs> so after a while, I'm like, man, we, so we put them in, we put them in this cat house for about two weeks or for about a week, week and a half. <clears throat> And I and I'm like, man, I hope they stay around, because obviously they're used to their old home, and so they're they they're not necessarily going to, uh, you know, they're they're it's good they they have the potential of uh, <laughs> running away, let's just say that, and never coming back, and so I'm like I'm like hopefully they they stay stay around. So anyway, we lock them into this thing. Uh, finally, I end up putting some openings out after about a week and a few days. And boom, they're gone. I'm like, darn, that's crazy. All that work for nothing. <laughs> and, uh, and so, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like, well, hopefully they stick around. Hopefully they stay around because you can't control them. You literally have no, I, uh, they're, they're wild. It's not like they're going to come to me and I can't grab them and, and so on and so forth. Well, uh, later, later that night, I put my headlamp on and I go out and I see eight little beady eyes staring back at me from der- various places. One, one of those places being the actual cat house. I'm like, that's cool. They're here. <laughs> and, and weeks later, I, I rarely ever see these guys during the day. <clears throat> But I go out at night, and lo and behold, I see some glowing eyes right back at me, and it's these these cats. Well, <coughs> one of the reasons why we got them in the first place was I was in 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 our chicken coop, and all around our house, <sighs> there were just a lot of gophers starting to show up, a lot of squirrels. Anytime I would open up the chicken coop, because I would leave, I would leave the door open because we free range them. We let them, we have two roosters and they've been doing an amazing job with keeping the hens safe. And, uh, so I leave the, the chicken coop open and I let them uh, go in free range. So we have free, uh, total of 13 free range chickens that, that go around. But 
when I leave that coop door open, I would come back and there would be these little holes. It's either, it's either gopher holes or mouse holes or something like that because they're eating, they're sitting there eating the, uh, the chicken feed. And no matter what I did, it, 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 that they would, they would show up every day. So essentially that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeding these, uh, these rodents over time. And I, I'm like, this sucks. I, you know, I, this, this, I, we needed to have some kind of control. So, so after we got these cats, I'm like, I, uh, I'm like, well, hopefully they're doing something. Cause I never see them during the day. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, Luna is always trying to chase them, uh, but we have so many trees, so many rocks, so many different things that they're able to hide anywhere. And I, I, we just don't ever see them. Well, lo and behold, I actually noticed, I noticed yesterday, I'm like, there are no new gopher holes in the chicken coop. And we've been doing this for a few weeks now. <clears throat> and <clears throat> normally it was like an everyday occurrence. And I've, I just started thinking, hmm, yeah, these last gopher holes that were there, or one of them at least, that was there from a from like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. And there's not been any new ones. And I haven't done anything differently. (laughs) And so I look at this gopher hole and I say, my gosh, my special forces, my little stormtroopers, my little shock troopers, these cats that don't do, that I can't see during the day, they are gobbling up these rodents. On a regular basis. No more squirrels. No more gophers. No more mice hanging around. We live in the country. So that's a pretty normal thing. Right? And uh, (laughs) I'm like this is so cool. My kitties are. My kitties are. Are ravishing the countryside. (laughs) Of all these rodents. And I'm not having to do anything. Other than feed them and give them water in this little house thing. <clears throat> and so, why is this important? Why is this important? It's important because when you build when you build the ability or create the environment to have special forces, let's just say, people who are able to make decisions, they're 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 able to they're able to go and and do things without you noticing, do things without you noticing, it creates, it creates a, an environment where, where you're multiplying the effectiveness exponentially of your business. In fact, I just had one of my, one of my guys, two, two things. One was, one was, one was good. One was bad. However, both are good. So the uh, the good the bad first was i had because of the covid-19 stuff i had one of uh one of my clients had to stop the service right and and my team were the ones who responded and they responded in such a professional way such an amazing way that i think it just left a really good impression on this company right and and so that was that was really cool just seeing that that I didn't have to worry about that that it was already handled I didn't have to make a response I didn't have to draft up a response or anything like that they handled it themselves and it was really good the second thing was <coughs> my team ended up getting two to three more clients because they're in constant communication with with a uh, 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 with these these clients who ended up wanting another VSA they wanted another person right and so that is also such a beautiful thing that I'm I, I had one of my guys telling me that they had called and were on the phone with one of these people and were were doing were were doing were communicating without me and these are things that bring about 
bring about additional revenue that I would have never had because I'm over here doing my stuff. They're actually growing the business indirectly by just giving amazing customer support, right? And so this is where, because there is a, an environment of go ahead and communicate and go ahead and do whatever you like, I will provide the food and shelter. I will provide the, the regular pay. I'll provide the fun place to work. You just be you. You go do you. And it turns into something that, that you can't find anywhere else if, you're, if you just want robots doing things for you. Okay? And don't get me wrong. We have, we have processes. We have procedures. We have all of that stuff. But we also foster the idea that you are a manager. There is a manager of one. Make decisions. Go ahead. You're not going to get in trouble. We'll have to figure it out if something, if something wasn't a good decision. But overall, you're not going to get in trouble. We're not going to get mad because you're doing, you're doing something that's way more valuable. That's actually thinking. And so how are you developing and creating a culture that brings these special forces to you? That bring these people who can think independently, who have the courage, have the ability to do things on their own, and you just provide the medium to do that. I challenge you, if you don't have that right now, if you are struggling to build something like that, I challenge you to do two things. One, get the book Rework, R-E-W-O-R-K. It's one of my, it's probably my all time favorite business book. Get the book Rework. It will help tremendously. It's a very quick read, very short book, but it is extremely powerful. Second thing I challenge you to do is look at your business right now. Do you have processes and procedures in place documented, step by step, extremely detailed, that people can fall back to? And they can fall back on when they are making these decisions. If not, that's a big thing that you're going to have to start doing. If you do, awesome. Keep it up. And I think that's going to be extremely beneficial to building this culture. So all that being said, this is Dean Soto, Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. Go check out freedominfiveminutes.com and go check out prosulum.com, P-R-O. S-U-L-U-M dot com. And I'll see you again in the next Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast episode. Thanks for listening to the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. Now, head over to www.freedominfiveminutes.com and register for our free masterclass and discover how to start systemizing and automating your entire business five minutes at a time. We'll see you next time on the Freedom in Five Minutes podcast.